Hey folks, this is my video for the Surface Tips and Tricks Volume 1. Uh, first I'm going to show you is how to make Windows load to the desktop screen uh, when it boots up. Because uh, it usually boots up to the start uh, the start screen when, whenever it boots up. I'll show you how to boot to the desktop screen if that's what you're after. So the easiest way you can do this is uh, you can have the control panel uh, icon on your desktop. You can do it with that or you can do it through the power menu by clicking on the right hand uh, mouse button down at the start menu. Going into the control panel and you go to appearance and personalization. Then you go to taskbar and navigation, and then it'll come up with this menu. I'll just move that to make it easier to see. Uh, then you'll just go to navigation, which will take you to this menu where it'll say that it'll be unchecked when you get it. But um, when I sign in or close all applications on the screen, go to desktop instead of start. So if you check that and then click apply, that'll uh, once you restart your computer, it'll automatically take you to the desktop screen whenever you start it up. Now the next thing I'll show you is how to make your Surface auto sign in. Uh, whenever you boot it up, it'll automatically sign in, so you won't have to put in a password or a username or anything like that, or your Microsoft account. But uh, the the only thing I'd say about it's bad about this is if you're traveling, don't do this because if it gets lost or like someone it gets stolen, you know someone will be able to easily access your Surface with you know without having to put in a password or anything like that. So what you have to do is you go down to the start menu and right click and click on run. I've got this already typed in because I've done it before. All you have to do is put in netplwiz, uh, wiz with a w, uh, i, z, uh, and then do that. You just uh, click OK and that will take you into the user accounts menu. And then that will take you onto this menu and then what you have to do is you click uh, users must enter a username and password to use the computer. If you want to have it automatically sign in, you uncheck that. So uncheck that and just click OK. And then it'll take you onto this menu which will allow you to put in your username. If you're using a Microsoft account, put your Microsoft account in as the username. So mine's would be like whatever yours is, like greg.mendy's at whatever. And then put in your password for signing in, click OK. And then restart your computer just to double check that it actually works properly. Next thing I'll show you is quite a simple one. It's how to, get, uh, how to show more tiles on the start screen. Uh, basically, it's, it's quite a simple one. It's uh, you don't have to play around with any anything uh, major or anything, or any config files or anything like that. It's quite simple. So what you can do is you can uh, swipe from the right of the screen, or you can click on the start menu. It'll take you to the start menu. And all you have to do is to go down to the bottom right hand side of the screen, swipe up, go to settings, click on that, and then go to tiles and show more tiles on the start screen. If you click that button and click yes. It'll show you more, uh, well, put more tiles on the start screen, but I've already got that checked, so I'll just show you. That's it without it, and that's it with it, so you, you get a lot more tiles if you do it. I'll show you another way of actually getting more than what I've got on the screen just now. So uh, what you can do is, same again, I'll make this pretty simple. Just uh, swipe from the right of the screen, or use your mouse to get onto that. And then change PC settings, and then go to PC and Devices, Display, and then it'll show more options down the bottom. If you make that smaller, It'll make your start menu a lot smaller. Click that. If you go back to the start menu, you can just press your Windows button and make it a bit simpler. And then it'll, obviously that's a lot more tiles than what you had before. So it, it, I mean, if you're you use the start menu quite a lot, it's quite handy for you. But if if you don't, if you use your desktop more, it's it's pretty much useless for you. But uh, that that's basically it. it's it's the simplest way of doing it. You can make all your uh, tiles or met drops a lot bigger just to show you. Quite a simple and easy tip. It's basically how to get uh, onto Task Manager without using the Power User menu, because you can do it by uh, going on the Task Manager through there, or without using a keyboard or mouse. Like how to do it, basically through touch without touching anything on the desktop. And the easiest way to do it is, it's I mean it's quite crazy. Not a lot of people actually know this, and it's it you it doesn't say in the manuals or anything like that. So uh, basically, how you do it is you press the Power button at the top of your uh, surface and the Windows button at the same time. And there we go. And then that'll bring it up to that screen and then you just click Task Manager and it'll take you up onto there. So I'll just show you again. Just click them at the same time and it takes you onto Task Manager. It's an easy way to do it if you know you, your mouse is unresponsive or whatever and you can't see me get off the start screen. You can easily just do it by doing that and that'll uh, allow you to get on a task manager or cancel any tasks that are maybe not responding and causing you a bit of issues.